morning, welcome back. It's just gone 10 to 8. Coming up after 8 this morning, we'll have all your latest news, traffic, travel and weather. But first, author of Liquid Millionaire. We both want to yeah, be I want We both it. want to be millionaires. Stephen Sutherland joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. OK, first things first, what's a liquid millionaire then as opposed to an ordinary everyday millionaire? A liquid millionaire is a person who has accumulated enough liquid to add up to a million in pounds or in dollars or whatever country they actually accumulate it from. So it's like having uh, a million pounds in the bank, so to speak. Okay. Right, okay. So how do you get, I mean, how, how does the book work? Does this tell you step by step on how to become a millionaire, go into the process of be getting all those liquid assets into your account? What the book is all about is, first of all, how I went from an F in maths, it gives a complete timeline of how I went from an F in maths mm. to over a million in liquid, so people see how exactly how I did it, but also how it's possible to make millions in an up and coming stock market boom. And depending on where you're actually starting from, you could make it in as little as seven years. But really, the core message that's in the book, and this is the reason why I wrote the book, is because of an, of an investment opportunity which I believe is and could be the investment opportunity of a lifetime. And in the book, you learn all about this opportunity. And what you can do is if you like it, if it grabs you, you've got two routes. You can either take a, a DIY approach or you can get help. What okay. is the investment opportunity? Great question. Uh, the investment opportunity shows about that the stock market could be ready for quite a substantial move because over the very long term stock mm. markets have always moved higher they've always gone higher they do have these dips um, from time to time but then they always recover so because of that and because the market over the last 12 years has just not made any progress and just be and because we've just been through quite um, a severe bear market a, a downtrend in market mm means that the market is due a move and okay. that means it could be ready to erupt. So is that essentially then at the moment because of the economic climate that you can buy stocks and shares at a lower rate, hang on to them and hopefully in a couple of years make your money back and then some? Well one of the things in, in the book uh, is ISA trend investing. That's a, a, a new way to invest using ISAs, SIPs or a combination of both and what you do is you trade with the trend of the market. So what you can do is you can rather than just putting your money into the stock market, you can be more active. You can actually move into the market when it's healthy and invest. And then when the market is unhealthy, when it's going downwards, you can actually move your money out of the market into the safety of a cash based investment fund. Uh, Stephen, in an economic climate such as this, just picking up on what Nikki mentioned there, the uh, confidence within the markets is pretty low. I mean, for people and potential investors will be feeling very tentative about putting their money into stocks and shares at the moment, as, they've, as we've seen with all the news reports, newspaper headlines. But as, is this going back to what you're saying, sort of no risk, no, uh, no benefit in many respects? Have you got to kind of take a bit of a gamble? What I'm saying is that Everybody is a little bit different. Everybody's got different risk profiles, so it, and it all depends on what it is that you're trying to do. But if you're looking at the long term, and that's what I'm suggesting mm. that you do here, it's not a get rich quick. If you look at uh, the long term, then ISA trend investing might be something worth you know taking a look at. The reason for that is because over the long term, over the last nine years, it has proved that it's actually outperformed one of the world's strongest indexes. Mm. Also, in the short term, if we look at like this recent period, it's not been, you know, very good. Everybody's been saying it's doom and gloom and the world is going to end. But over this last four months, it's actually done quite well. 14.2%. That's we and our clients. That's what we've achieved over the last four months. But that's not to brag or boast. It's just to explain that right now, even though everybody's saying the, the world is going uh, down the tubes, the market is much better than most people would actually have you believe and that means that a stock market boom could be just around the corner. Okay, your book's out at the end of March, but just quickly I want to ask you, you make it sound very simple. I'm thinking, oh, it sounds wonderful. But presumably there's a lot of time that you need to invest in this. So you've got to research 
where the good stocks and shares are, when to keep hold of them, when to sell. I mean, you have this image of people, buy, 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 sell, sell, sell. Is it a full-time career, is what I'm asking, essentially? Well, there's, uh, there's, there's two routes that you can actually take. Um, if you go down the DIY approach, in other words, if you want to become a full-time professional investor, that's gonna, going to obviously take you know, quite a lot of time to do. What I say to people is if, if you're going to just have a, a mess around with this and just do a couple of hours here, mm. you're better off really finding people who know what they're doing instead okay. of trying to do it on, on your own. But if you have a real passion for the market like I do, I just love the stock market. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I, I, know, I know that most people probably think that's mad, you know, but I love it. And because of that, if you really have a passion for the market, then yes, you can do it full time. And, and, it, and it does take quite, quite a bit of time and effort. Okay, then, well, before we leave it, final question, Stephen. How many millions have you made on the stock market? <laughs> well, Rather personal. Well I, well, I made my first million in 2003, and that was when I... Um, I had a starting amount of $31,409, and in 38 months later, it, it went to $1.28 million. Um, and then, part of that, uh, the one-day profit I used uh, to buy our dad um, his dream car, which was a Bentley Continental, so that wow. was like... Uh, that must have felt pretty good. That felt... It felt pretty amazing. Yeah, it, it was a nice rush. It really yeah. was. Well, Stephen, we've run out of time. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, um, as Nikki mentioned, the book is available, uh, Amazon Books, at the end of the month, or you can get it from Steve's website, as you can, which you saw on your screen before. It's isa.co.uk. Um, thank you very much again for joining us this Pleasure. morning. Thank we'll you. be back after this short break with all the latest traffic, travel, news and weather. See you shortly.